What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another MLB 14 The Show Road to the Show featuring my third baseman playing for the Chicago White Sox and today we are taking on the New York Yankees once again in the season finale. Yes, we are not making the playoffs once again, ladies and gentlemen. We have been terrible since the second half of the season started. We actually had our head above water uh, at the All-Star break, but ever since then, we've kind of just, you know, peed our pants and shit the bed, whatever you want to call it, and we haven't been winning games. So, yeah, th that's why we're missing the playoffs. I have been doing my job. It's just that my teammates have not. As you see, I fly out right there to shallow right center field and the second baseman's right there to get it i know it looks like right now that you know i haven't been doing well but if you look at the score 10 to 2 it's actually the pitching staff that's doing the work for us like they're the ones putting the salt on the wound whenever we play so here in the seventh inning we're still down by a lot well not by much we're down by five 10 to five and i actually get a ground ball here to the third baseman and he throws me out at first so now my hitting streak is about to end. I actually have a 11-game hitting streak going into this game. And now it looks like it's about to end. As you see, pop up to myself. That is a can of corn and shallow, shallow left field. And I put that one away. Piece of cake. But we do have one more chance here in the ninth to actually extend my hitting streak to 12 games. And we are going to get a good, solid piece of hitting right there. And I'm going to be safe at first. And my hitting streak stays alive. But... The problem is, like, will we actually come back to win the game? Probably not. So we're right here at first, and I'm taking off for second base. I'm going to take my chances, and I'm safe at second base by a long shot. As that is, a, I think, my 57th stolen base of the season. I've been stealing a lot of bases on this game. I tell you what, you know, stealing bases is pretty easy. One of the biggest things that I always like to do, if you guys want to know how to steal bases, just watch that same part over and over again. Look at what I'm doing. Like, look at the pitcher's windup, and if you see, like, okay, one tip, I guess. If the pitcher has a long windup or delivery, like that pitcher does, like, he kicks up his leg and, like, I don't know if he almost holds it for a second, but he, I don't really think he does. But it's more of, like, a slow, constant motion, and if you have that going for you, and if he also throws a slow pitch, I mean, like a curveball or a changeup or a, uh, a knuckleball, then odds are you're going to steal that base with these. So... Just a little bit of advice for you guys, and always hold the back button because sometimes you won't even be leading off the bag a whole lot. Like you always step off the bag for like a step or two, but you like your true lead off is when you start taking extra steps after that. Kind of like I'm not leading off right now. Otherwise, you know I would be, but I'm not. But I take a step right there, and Teixeira is gonna throw to that five, three four three double play or three six three double play, and that is gonna be the end of that as Vicieto grounds into the double play. So that's my tip on stealing. Uh, just be careful. Always hold that back button because they love to pick you off. I'm telling you what, this is they, they need to do something with that pickoff frequency thing. It's really getting on my nerves. But here in the seventh inning in a 2-1 game, 0-2 count, and boom! Goodbye, baseball. Number 31 of the season. Or actually, that's number 30 of the season. So, yes, I have exceeded expectations, hitting 30 home runs of the season. And that one ties the game at two. As you see my stat line at the very top of your screen right there. That's my 30th home run. They didn't put that on the board yet. But they're going to soon enough as I cross third base. And, yeah, that's going to be the end of that as now we're here in the bottom of the ninth. Runner on first. Nobody out. The first pitch of the at-bat is taken to deep right field once again. And that is a walk-off baseball. Oh, my goodness. Goodbye, baseball. Number 31, second home run of the game. And this one couldn't be any more important as this one wins the game for the Chicago White Sox. As that is my first ever career walk-off home run. Throw the helmet off and dive into the pile of teammates and jump up and down. We won the game. I am a hero as that was a monstrous game by myself. I went three for four, two home runs, three RBIs, and we're going on to the final game of the second season for me. Man, what a game, and hopefully we can continue it on into this third and final game and the final game of the regular season. One, two, count, nobody out. One on nothing already, Chicago's up. But Mark Teixeira makes an error on the play, and I'm on first base safely. They're going to count that as an error on Teixeira. I'm not getting a base hit for that, but I did take my time with that at-bat. So it was a pretty successful at-bat. 
Just could have wish I would have got a hit out of that. But I'm stealing second base, and the catcher does not know how to control it. So the White Sox are just having a bunch of good luck on their side, but my base running continues to be flawed as I am out by a mile right there. I decided to take it off for third when I shouldn't have. So here, I'm taking this one to deep left center, and that one is gone. Goodbye, baseball number 32 of the season, third one of the series. And ladies and gentlemen, just to spoil the, the news for you, I mean, I, I can't. I, I guess I shouldn't, but... This is going to be, this has just already been a really good season for me. And like I said, my next year's goal is to hit 40 home runs. And I hope to do that. I really do. Because I really want to be on a team that is really successful and that is not always constantly rebuilding or throwing out the blueprint after the first year of the season. I mean, building a franchise takes years to be at least somewhat successful. And, you know, I guess some teams have just had luck doing it, like the Nationals have in a couple of years when they had Strasburg and uh, Harper both really healthy and playing really well. So that's just my take on that. So you see right there, that one goes over the right fielder's head. I have so much base set running to do. I have so many errors that on that play that I just fucked up so bad. So, yeah, totally. Just going to run with that one. So Vicieto's on with a single. Could have been a double if he would have kept running, but who knows if he would have actually came up with that. As you see, Tyler Flowers swings and misses for strike three. And now 3-0 count here. Nobody out runner on first in the bottom of the seventh with a 6-2 lead. And what's this? I'm walking for ball four. Wow. That's a, a four pitch at bat, and all of them were balls. I mean, the pitcher does not know how to locate his pitches, apparently. So we do get a base hit right here from Tyler Flowers as we get another run on the board. It's now 7-2. Tyler Flowers is an RBI single, and I advance to third on that hit. So later on, it is AJ, no, it's Adam Eaton. I apologize. Both of them are left-handed hitters, but you see Adam Eaton grounding out to the second baseman, and I am going to not have that run count as Adam Eaton's out. And the final play of year two. Here we go, up 7-3, 3-2 count, two outs, and it's a ground ball to myself. This is a great way to end the season with a win, and me throwing out the final batter of the season as we do finish off with a 74 and 86. 74 and 80 oh my god 74 and 88 i am bad at math that's a that's not a great record uh we were worse than last year actually so oh wait 73 and 87 i or, i have to look we'll, we'll go to the offseason video and i will check the record once that pops up but we did not do as good as last year so we had to improve on that but anyway guys uh, the off-season video will be next. Will I get traded or will I not get traded and I will stay with the White Sox? But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a first-time viewer, please subscribe. And until then, my name is Sid with Vengeance, and I'm the mayor of Jam City, and I'm out.